Hello and welcome to IT Convergence User Productivity Kit tutorial series. This is a demonstration of how modules and sections provided in the UPK developer and the library can be used to create and store content. A module is used to organize a specific unit of learning. It can contain other documents such as sections, topics, or even other modules to form a component of an outline. A section is very similar to a module in that it also can contain other documents such as sections, topics, or other modules. The main difference between a section and module is its visual representation that can help differentiate between the components of your outline and locate areas in the structure faster. If modules and sections are used with best practices to organize content, it can enable greater efficiency and productivity for the end user. Module and section documents are created from the library or any other document editor. To create a new module or section document in the library, start with selecting the folder where you want to store the document. On the File menu, point to New and choose Module or Section. In this example, we are going to use Module. The New Module dialog box opens and we can type a name for the new document. Since each document in the library is identified with a unique document ID, a folder can contain multiple documents with the same name. However, make sure to give all your documents a meaningful name to easily find and work with your content. In the New Module dialog box, we are also able to change the folder in which we want the new document to be stored. To change the folder, type the folder path in the Location field or click Browse, select a different folder and click OK. When browsing for a folder, you can use the Make New Folder button to create a new subfolder in the currently selected folder. You can also set certain document properties. Most of the default properties that appear are inherited from the settings in Tools, Options. Module and Section documents contain the same properties and can be changed either when or after a module or section is being created. However, because all new documents that you create link to the new module or section in the Outline Editor inherit its property setting, it is a good idea to set the necessary properties when you first create the new module or section. When you are done, click OK and the new document is created and saved and will open in a new tab in the Outline Editor. An important note to mention is that when you create a new module, it automatically appears as a page icon. A module or section document will appear with a purple or a blue book only when the document has at least one linked child document such as a topic or another module or section. When the module or section is being modified in the outline editor, the developer automatically saves the changes. If you want to delete a module or a section, you have to delete it from the library. Deleting a document from the outline editor only removes the link between documents. If you attempt to delete a document from the library that is used by other documents, a choice will show up between deleting the selection only or the selection and all related documents. To delete a document, you first need to make sure that the document is not open in a document editor. In the library, select the document you want to delete. On the Edit menu, choose Delete. This concludes our tutorial on how modules and sections provided in the UPK developer and the library can be used to create and store content. On the behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and invite you to join IT Convergence YouTube channel where you can learn more about user productivity kit features and functions. Thank you.